Hi everyone, welcome back to Z Physics. Today we are going to be talking about diffraction. Now, remember diffraction is the spreading of a wave when it passes through a gap or around an obstacle. We can actually make a diffraction grading, which uh, all it consists of are multiple different slits, multiple different openings, which have been placed on, uh, uh, on this diffraction grading. In fact, there's a little number over here. You're going to notice that it says 300 lines per millimeter. Now, uh, there we go, 300 lines per millimeter. Now, what that means is that if we were to zoom in into this diffraction grading, we w if we go on the scale of one millimeter, we're going to see 300 separate openings. Now, when light passes through those openings, it tends to spread. Today, we're going to be analyzing this. I mean, for instance, we could even visualize this effect just simply by taking this diffraction grating and placing it on my camera over here. You're going to notice that the light from the light sources directly behind me has actually been uh, decomposed into many different colors. So different colors seem to spread at a different angle and they suddenly become visible from this otherwise white light source. Today we're going to be looking at the equations on how to explain these phenomena. Let's do this. Now let's have an in-depth look into diffraction gradings. The first thing that we need to get our heads around are the labels. Now, most diffraction gratings will have a label on them. For example, this one here in particular says that there are 300 lines per millimeter. 300 lines per millimeter will actually mean that there will be 300,000 lines per meter. This is simply a consequence of the fact that there are a thousand millimeters in a meter. We can define our line separation D as one over the amount of lines per meter. In the case of this diffraction over here, this is obviously a very zoomed in version, so we'll be able to see it, but it'll be this distance D that I've shown here in red, and it'll be one over 300,000, which will be equal to 3.3 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Now let's see why is this distance important. Now let's imagine that we're looking at exactly the same diffraction grading a little bit from the side. So we have a laser which is shooting off some red light into this diffraction grading and we can see that the light is spreading. Now the equation that will determine the angle of each of those individual rays of light that have spread it is the following. So I'm going to write this down over here and that is that d sine of theta is equal to n times the wavelength. Now in this case d stands for the line separation so that's 1 over the number of lines per meter. Theta will be equal to this angle over here. Uh, well, if we're dealing with n1, it will be this angle. So um, if we're dealing with n2, it will be this angle over here. Uh, n is known as the order of diffraction. So n is equal to zero corresponds to the central maximum, which is directly opposite the laser or the light source. n is equal to one is the next one along and is equal to two is the next one along and lambda is the wavelength. Let's see how this equation is applied and this will be a perfect opportunity for you guys to pause this video and attempt this problem. 
So let's have a go at solving this problem. The first thing that we need to do is write down the diffraction grading equation, d sine theta is equal to n lambda. Now in this case, we know everything about this problem except the actual angle. Remember the distance d is uh, the line separation, which is equal to one over the amount of lines per meter. So it will be 300 per millimeter, which will be equal to 300 times 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by the sine of the angle. And this will be equal to n, which is the order of the diffraction grading, which is equal to 2 times the wavelength, which is equal to 700 nanometers, would be times 10 to the power of minus 9. Simply rearranging for sine theta, we get that sine theta will be equal to 2 times 700 nanometers, which is 700 times 10 to the power of minus 9, times 300 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3. Now, all we need to do is take the inverse sine of this expression. If we do that successfully, we're going to find that up to two significant figures, theta will be equal to 24.8 up to two sig figs that will be equal to 25 degrees. Now this means that the angle between n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 2 will be this angle over here is equal to 25 degrees. We can use this equation to rearrange for any of those unknowns just like any other regular equation. Okay folks, so hopefully the fraction gradings make sense. If there are any questions please feel free to drop a comment and thank you very much for watching.